How often do you touch yourself? Oh my god. Um, Today we're gonna ask influencers the questions that you are too afraid to ask. It's me, Mario! Here we go! Guys, we're live right now reporting from the Cloud House. The biggest influence in the world stayed here. Rice Gum, Tana Monjo, Morgan Freeman. And I'm gonna ask them questions that you guys send me on Instagram that you guys just don't have the f balls to ask. All my subscribers are little pussy jellyfishies. So make sure to subscribe, like this video right now, and let's check out the Cloud House. And I have no idea how to get in. Alohomora! Do you have to suck some to get in? Hello! Hey, how's it going? There's full security, guys. It's f***ing official. All right, guys, this is it. We've got the angel wings, right? Is it okay? I just uh, thought if somebody was naked or something. You never know. Do you run this place? Yeah, I'm the owner. So are people like cool if I just go up to them and be like, hey, how big's your d*** right now? Yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I just want to make sure. What's one thing that nobody knows about you? I'm half Brazilian. Brazilian? Yeah, and everyone thinks I'm like Russian or Czech or something. Do you have some German in you? I don't think so. Do you want some German in you? I'm good. <laughs> okay. My followers ask me pretty out there questions, so I'm gonna give you one wholesome one first. Have you ever teabagged a friend? Yes. Yes? Many times. Let's go. Was it on or off camera? Ooh, um, one on, one off. One nuts like was on camera, and the other one was off frame, or two different times? Yeah, two different times. <laughs> what was the occasion? Was it like anniversary, like a birthday present? I was in the lacrosse game, and I hit this guy over pretty hard. He was unconscious for a little bit, and I was just started teabagging him. Oh, shit. I played soccer all my life. I should have played lacrosse. Oh, you would have loved it, yeah. Yeah, I, w I would have, trust me, Colin. I fucking would have. Do I give you alpha energy? <laughs> Is it Jack Cherry? What's up? It's the Mario. Mario. I'm a Carrot Kingdom person. What's your spirit vegetable? Honestly, broccoli. <laughs> Friendship over. Okay, how long is your schlong going? Seven inches. Seven inches. Or what do you do for social media? All of it, I guess. TikTok, OnlyFans. How much money is out there for females? Too much. Too much? It's too easy. Yeah, I think we're living in a sexist society. When it comes to that, I'm out on the street, you know, selling honest, hard work <laughs> pics. What do you do for a living? Executive assistant to the CEO of this social media company. Let's go. And I'm a student at UCLA. Go Bruins. What's like the craziest thing you've experienced at a college party? At the end of every academic quarter, we have this thing called the undie run. Everybody strips down to their underwear and they run through campus. And then there's a rager in the middle of campus for like half a hour. A rager? Where I'm terms, from, we, we call rager like a raging boner. Well, some, some guys reason. have that because all the girls are in underwear. We met a real Russian right here, right? Hello, yes, that is me. It is Sasha. So you moved to America from Russia? No, I'm actually just American. Okay, cool, 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 all right. <laughs> Complete this sentence. I'm not gay, but... You're pretty hot. Thank you, thank you, let's go. <laughs> How much money do you make? Wie viel Geld verdienst du im Monat? I'd say anywhere between like 5 to 10k a month. But also, what is going on over there? See, you, know, you never fucking know. Yeah, he's making up with a unicorn. I know? should do that. I would like to say this right now. I went viral without having to show my ass. Yeah, that's amazing. How gay are you right now? What's your sexuality? 98% hetero. Me too. Sort of. you have to admit, I'm, there's yeah, a yeah. certain level. 100%. Like no, nobody. Chris, it's Chris Hemsworth. One. That's what I always say. Bro, I always say. Yeah, at a, at a movie premiere. And he like touched me as he walked past. He touched oh, you. Sorry, mate. And I was like, oh, no worries. And I touched him back. The man is like the fucking countertop, bro. He's hard. Yeah, like it's just steel. So I'm not gay, but Chris Hemsworth is Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. I, I see girls doing like TikTok dance in bikinis and stuff. And fucking, I show my boss like once. Just one little nut sick, slipped out one time, you know? Just did a catwalk on the beach, fucking taken down the whole account. I'm gonna show you what I did in TikTok video. <laughs> Have you ever teabagged your friend? Honestly, no. No? Okay, I probably cool. should though. That's an experience I've never done before. Any YouTubers? <laughs> Mary Kill. Mary Addison Ray. I would. Ooh. Mario. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! go. Yeah. Let's kill Charlie D'Amelio. She's I love had her that. time at the top. So why did you choose Mario Adrian? I, I heard that. he's got a big carrot. Word on the street. Which was the source? West was Hollywood. It? West Hollywood. Let's go. Is everyone bi now? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Uh, what's your sexuality right now? I'm bi. No. No? I would say that I'm straight. I like everything. Everything? I'm gonna lie. Cool. Hypothetical scenario, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna get a, a half a billion dollar investment. Okay. All you gotta do, you have to give Chris Hemsworth a hand job. Would you do it, Sam? Dude. Yeah. What, what if you had to make eye contact with him? Oh my god, dude, I don't think I could do it. I, I think I could make that money on my own. I'm very confident. <laughs> you would make 500 million on your own. Let's go. That's confidence right there. I love that. How do you plan to stay relevant in the future? In an environment of all these young, young influencers, talented. The thing is, young or not, people are looking for daddies. Yeah, and yeah. that's what I am. What do you think is going to happen like 15, 20 years when your jawline starts to droop? You know, your abs are going away. I think it's important to kind of use the platform that you have have to venture off into bigger things. Complete the sentence. I'm not racist, but... 
I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> Are we doing interviews? I'm, I'm from IPS Bach im Hochschwarzwald, Germany. Oh, IPS Bach im Hochschwarzwald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da. You, You're German? Yes, uh, well, my family is from Bavaria. You got some German in you? Yeah, 25%. Do you want some more German in you? Only if you turn the camera off. <laughs> Between us, who's more alpha? I'm gonna say the girl, Alex. Come on, I'm an alpha! Because I have top energy. Stop it! <laughs> you made me dribble. <laughs> you can pack buns too! You can do it. God. Man. Years of training. I used to be a bikini bodybuilder. Your T levels are higher than mine for <laughs> sure. So hypothetically, Jeff and I had sex. Who be top and who be, who be bottom? Who's like the more alpha guy? Mm, you're definitely more alpha in that situation. Jeff, did you hear that? If we had sex, I'd top you because I'm more alpha. Really? I would have to agree. Yeah. You gotta get this go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not gay, but. I might sneak a peek in the locker room. Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> What's like the weirdest place you did the love making? Hammock. A hammock. In the hammock. That seems very challenging <laughs> in so many different ways. It was. It was at the beach, but it was awkward. Don't recommend it. <laughs> For me, it was the Hotel Roosevelt in the lobby. In, in the lobby. In the lobby. Let's I go. Say, I wouldn't say it was making love, but it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I think doing it in public is the excitement of possibly getting caught, but knowing you're not going to is what makes it fun. The gem. Uh, I was Jim. I was getting the gains, yeah. And, what was his uh, name? <laughs> his name was Joe. Bradley Martin. <laughs> Joe Dirt. No, I'm just you kidding. banged Bradley Martin at a gym. <laughs> Yes, 24 hours, I couldn't pass up the chant. I mean, the place is always open. I just swipe the card and boom, I'm in. I am a songwriter, singer, entertainer. What, what kind of music do you make? Hits. Hits? Yeah, I love that. That's a good, that's a good ad. Jeff, what's your talent? My penis. That's it, right? And then between Jeff and I, who do you think is like more attractive? I'm dead right now. For me, it's more about like personality and emotional okay, cool, cool. connection. But like, you know, screw like, all that. Just like purely Probably physical. You. Today's a good day. How long is your schlong long currently? Uh, seven and three quarters. I'm not gay, but... I f*** ass. I think your shoes are so sick. The only question is, how big is your d***? 12 inches. <laughs> 12 inches. What is your main thing that you do? I do dancing and gymnastics. Can I show you a flip and you tell me uh, a note? Oh! Wait, that's not bad at all. No, I got it right. Ooh. Would you suck somebody's to get a job in Hollywood? No, definitely not. Super Bowl, halftime performance, you on stage, singing music. If I had to suck to get it? Just one. No. Just in there. Take that home, kids. Keep your integrity. Would you? I mean, just one. It depends on Would who it is. And what if it's just like the opportunity? I think it's like the lifetime opportunity to ratio, right? The mean? cleaner the dick and the bigger the opportunity, the more likely. Would you consider me to be an alpha male? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have alpha energy. Right? Like, Reno can go. Do you can hear that? So I saw you earlier, right? Can I suck your and how much? Okay, this is a good time to interrupt this. How much would it be to like make love to? It's a red flag. I know this question is red flag. <laughs> how old were you when you lost your virginity? Uh, honestly, I was 18. 18? I was a late bloomer, yeah. I'm from a small town in Germany called Alpiersbach im Hochschwarzwald. Alpiersbach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, correct. I, know it, no. I lost my virginity when I was 16 years old to 16? a prostitute in Peru. <laughs> But I didn't pay her. She, but she happened to be you a didn't professional. Pay her? She did it for I didn't free? pay her. She did it for free. Was yeah. it like a first time promo or no? I, I, it was just the only time promo because I left right after. What's your life goal? You want to do act, acting, right? Mm, yeah, okay. TV film. Okay, say. Mm. I'm going to cast you for the next Thor as Thor's love interest. All you got to do is you're going to have to like teabag me in the closet here. That's it? Yeah. Let's go, bro. What All right, cool. There we go. <laughs> this is a commentary on Hollywood and how to get jobs here in this industry. <laughs> what is like the craziest, like guilty pleasure you have? I only go after 70 year old men who are about to die mm. and steal their credit cards. That is my guilty pleasure. How do you find a sugar daddy here in LA? You just have to post a hot photo and they come to you. They slide into your DMs. Oh my God, cool. our pecs are the same size. How often do you touch yourself? Oh my God. Um, this is uh, quite the question. Honestly, not that much literally like maybe once a month because once a month let's because, go listen, because listen I am super dedicated to my work my company shout out entertainment group LA whatever somebody wants to do in LA that's luxury we are here to provide that whatever they want literally helicopter rides you name it shout I want to invest in your company that's amazing Dude, that's please amazing. do yeah. we'll talk about it hey what's up sir can I ask you a question yeah can sure. you tell me one thing about yourself yeah one thing about me, I'm the baddest in life. Legend. You guys became like financially really desperate. Hypothetical scenario, right? I would sell feed pics. That's literally the question. I'm not even joking. Do you have nice feet and would you sell feed pics? Yes, yeah? I would, 100%. How about, how about OnlyFans? Bro, I don't know, bro, because... You can re I, I'm going to tell you right now. You in your underwear, you know, mm -hmm. oiled up, wrestling some other dude, jiu-jitsu. <laughs> film that, 
put it on the fence, bang. All right, Jeffy, how was your experience so far at the Cloud House? I'm way too old for this shit. <laughs> okay. If you had to give a hand job, right, for $500 million, okay. who would you choose? There's a person to money ratio. 100%, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like Putin, you know, I would need, I would need a lot of money. Dude. Bro, imagine the f***ing YouTube story time I could make if I gave Putin a handjob, dude. 100% I'll do it for free. Any head of state of any country, I'll give you a handjob for free. Just because the connection, bro. The person I would give a handjob to for the yes. least amount of money in yes. the world. Yes. It used to be Jared Leto, but I don't like him anymore. I don't know, it's just this culty thing he's got going on. It's kind of uh, weird, uh, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just grabbed your ass. Maybe William Beckett? Who do you want to give a handjob to? We've been friends for a while now. We've been working together. I think that's the least you could do, Riley. Listen, I've been paying your rent for months now. That's true. And there's that's true. nothing, not a single hand job, not you, even a fluff. Look, listen, your gigantic <laughs> is just intimidating for people like me. Thank you, and that's where we end this video, guys. <laughs> Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna go do TikTok dances now. No, I'll see you next time. I've been flying from town to town.